It's been a much quieter day across mid-Missouri as temperatures have made it back up into the upper 70s to around 80 degrees and skies have cleared out after showers and storms came through last night. Here's a look at the ABC 17 storm track Doppler radar that we'll be keeping an eye on tonight. It's going to look mainly clear, so we are going to be tracking some very quiet conditions. After a stormy yesterday, we ended up with about an inch of rain in Benton County. Bunston had just over three quarters of an inch, about a half an inch in Versailles and around four tenths in Jefferson City. Not too much in Columbia as the northern edge of that rain stayed just to our south. Tonight, I'm expecting mostly clear skies as we drop down to about 59, possibly seeing some patchy fog developing, especially as we'll have those light winds overnight into tomorrow. I'm tracking a beautiful day. If you need to get to the car wash, we'll be getting up into the upper 70s by noon. And then by late afternoon, high temperatures climb up into the low 80s tomorrow with sunshine. So it's going to be a warmer start to our first full week of fall. Here's our ABC 17 storm track future track. This is starting out tomorrow morning at 7. As you'll notice, we'll have clear skies. The afternoon, very sunny and warm. Some of us even get into the mid 80s, including to near Jefferson City. We're up to about 85. Getting into Tuesday, just a few passing clouds. We'll start off a bit warmer. Temperatures getting into the low 60s to start off the day. The afternoon is hot as we climb up into the mid 80s and I'll be tracking a stalled front that's going to be draped across mid-Missouri. That's going to bring us a chance for a few storms overnight, likely past about 8 or 9 o'clock getting into Tuesday evening. Some of those could bring some brief heavy downpours and gusty winds too, as I'll be tracking that front really just kind of sticking around for much of Tuesday night, at least into Wednesday morning. Storm Prediction Center has a level 1 out of 5 severe risk for areas from about Columbia and Jefferson City and points north. That would be for that threat of some isolated strong winds. We have not issued an ABC 17 storm track with our electric alert day at this time, but we'll keep an eye on that as those storms move in. Looking at at the end of the week, we are going to be tracking dry weather for the rest of this week into the weekend. Warm for high school football on Friday. Our Sports Zone feature game of the week is at Rockbridge this week. Temperatures at 7 p.m. on Friday night, still around 81. For, so we're in for a warm weekend. If you're heading out to the walk to end Alzheimer's on Saturday at Faroe Field, it's going to be a beautiful morning as things get going, 67 at 8 o'clock. And once that walk starts at around 11, we should be back up into the upper 70s. We're in for a bright afternoon, plenty of sunshine as temperatures climb into the mid 80s on Saturday. Here's our ABC 17 storm track seven day forecast. I'm tracking 80s all week, a little bit warmer than normal. Not too much rain this week. Even when we have that chance for a couple scattered storms Tuesday night, it'll amount to likely less than a quarter of an inch. And the rest of this week is just looking mild and dry with lows in the 60s and highs in the mid 80s.